What is up, FIFA faithful? Barahams here with the newest episode of my Minnesota United career mode. And I am so sorry for not posting in such a long time. It has been about a month. And, I mean, for good reason. I mean, the first bit was there were no games. The international break was coming, not only for Europe, but also South America. You know, you had Robin Lud and Rotala going to Finland. Then you had Grey Gooch going to Slovakia. And then, well, I should have posted something for that first game against FC Dallas. But I just... Things just slipped out of my reach. But here we are, back at it again. Right before the game against Portland Timbers. And before we get into the gameplay itself, let's talk about how the loons have been doing off camera. If my voice does sound a little hoarse, it's because I was at the game against Austin FC, and oh boy, that was sublime. Just not only for the victory, just having everyone there. Uh, if you did not know, it was at full capacity last night for the first time in almost two years. And what a difference having the Wonder Wall there, like, fully stocked with people. Like a full house. The team played completely different from what I saw in the past three games when it was at minimal capacity. It was insane. Like, two goals straight away, and then Austin could not do a single thing about it. It was amazing. And it was really funny, too, because we have a friend, or I have a friend, that uh, went to the game, and when he usually goes to the games, they never win. And this is even before they were uh, in MLS. He would go to Blaine and watch them there, but they never won. He never got to sing Wonderwall. So tonight, last night, was the night after years and years of going to games, he finally was able to sing Wonderwall. And thank God, because if that didn't happen, we'd never invite him to another game ever again. So for this game, it's pretty easy who the top three players were. Easily, Adrian Unu got his first goal in the Loon's colors. He's been doing a little better, just getting used to the tempo of MLS action, and I think that was just a great header and an even better cross by another great player, though unfortunately he's not with the squad yet, but Franco Fragapani. I'll just pull up his, uh, yeah, I'll just go to transfers and pull up his transfer hub profile. Yeah, this guy... What a great pickup. Now, he's probably playing great because a lot of MLS teams are not used to his style of play, but he's making the most of it. Two goals and assist in two games. The finish that he had from the cross from Matt Nair was fantastic. Top corns, top titty, upper 90, whatever you want to call it. It was well placed by the left winger. And that's what got the game rolling. And then he got the assist from the cross, the corner, and... I can't, man, who should I even put as, like, that third star? Like, you know what? I'll give it to Debassi. Debassi was pretty good. He tackles in our third. You know, there were some times where they did have some sort of counterattack, but Debassi, with his telescopic legs, able to poke balls away, he was great. Yeah, easily top three players for me. But honestly, I can't even think of, like, a bottom three. Because, like... I mean, like, I could just, you know, talk about Gasper all over again, but, like, he did great. There were some great passes. He was great on the counter, running up. He had a chance for a goal. Too bad it got blocked, but, like, yeah, no, the team was great. And what's scary is that they're not even at, they don't have all their players. Lud is still away, and Grey Goosh is away as well. And I'm probably certain, it's probably certain, that for the Portland game, Lud and Grey Goosh won't be available, but for July 3rd against San Jose, I do believe, we're going to have a full team, and that is going to be scary. And this is why I have been not as mad at the team early on, because just none of the pieces have been all together, but now, once they are all together, Unu and Fragapane, they're game ready, and this team is looking to make some surge for this second third of the season. So overall, a great performance against Austin FC, and I'm excited to see what they do next. 
In today's episode, we will be taking on Sporting KC away at Children's Mercy Park, the most friendliest derby in all of sports, only because they can't find an actual rival for the Loons or Sporting KC until, of course, St. Louis get there, so it'll be St. Louis against KC. And then Minnesota, who should be rivals with Chicago Fire, they just won't put them in the same goddamn division. But that's enough of my tirade. And uh, so, yep, got that out of the way. And before we get into it, another preamble. I did play the FC Dallas game off camera, and I'm kind of sad I didn't upload that episode because that was a comeback to remember. We were down 3 nothing, but then we got three goals from Unu, and yeah, no, it was, it was a fun game, to say the least. But you don't get to see it, so it doesn't really matter anyway. For the game against Sporting KC, this is how we're going to line up. Uno up top, Reynoso at the cam, Hanson and Finley as our wingers, Trap and Dotson as our CDMs, and we have Gasper, Debassi, Voxel, and Metinair as our back four, and Tyler Miller between the sticks. I know this is MLS, but I would like to talk about the Euros and how fun it's been, especially, I'd have to say, big kudos to the commentary teams, Derek Ray, also, uh, got to give a shout out to Ian Dark as well as John Champion, who's been okay. And uh, I can't remember the name of the uh, Syria commentators that were for a couple of the games. But I think the worst one, the worst commentary team is, I don't know, it's just like this guy that sounds like a baseball announcer and then Ali Moreno. And Ali Moreno is just a subpar commentator to begin with. So it's even worse when you get a guy that's, you know, chalk it like this. It's the Italians. And then, like, he tries his best to, like, pronounce it, like, the way that they want him pronounced. So that is a shot wide by Hansen. Like, it's just, oh, it's so grating. Like, I don't mind having Americans commentate on soccer games, football games, sorry. But, um... Because, like, there's a couple of them that do an okay job. Like, I do believe John Strong on Fox does a good job. Like, he does his best to pronounce players' names best as he can. But, God, that, like, it sucks. It really sucks when it's like, oh, I want to watch this game. And then it's like, oh, it's that Steve guy. Fuck. Oh, maybe a chance here as Hansen down the wing does see a run from Unu. Unu. Takes the shot and scores straight away, just like in the game against Austin FC. We do get that early goal 20 minutes in, well placed by Nico Hansen, who did also have a great game against Austin. Several shots on target. Just so many good curlers just could not put it top bins. So maybe some more here as Hansen does see a run by Reynoso. Reynoso, he's running through. He'll pass it to Unu, and Unu's just going to get his second goal straight away. What is going on here? Sporting KC, who has been doing great this season, already down by two with just 25 minutes into this contest. Oh, there's a shot. Good save, though, by Miller, but he can't get the rebound. Great play by Barber just to stick his nose in there, get dirty, get into the grime, and get himself a goal. Oh, good through ball here to Finlay, who is on side. Gets a cross in. One chop a Yes! There we go. Get some insurance goal from the former Boca Junior striker. Well placed. That'll do it. 3-1. Beat Sporting KC. Nice to beat a... <laughs> nice to beat a quote-unquote rival at their own uh, home. It's one chop a Able to bring on the insurance. But it was the striker beforehand, Adrian Unu, with the two goals, getting us this victory. We are still up top in second place with 19 points. Helps a lot with that victory as well. Now we're just sandwiched between the Cascadia rivals, Portland Timbers, and Seattle Sounders. And before we go, we will predict the next game, which will be against the Portland Timbers. All I need to do is just find this team sheets. And uh, yeah, we're going to make this quick. I am slowly losing my voice. And I think it's just imperative for myself and just to help you guys. You don't need to hear my voice drag on. So anyway, Portland Timbers, 
at Providence Park, one of the best stadiums in the league. Um, this is my prediction. It's going to be based on hope as opposed to dread, as I have been predicting in the past. I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. I think we're going to get a goal. We're going to get like a equalizer late or... Actually, I think that's how it's going to go. We're going to get the equalizer late. Portland will score early, but then I think the defense will buckle down and then we'll eventually get something to squeeze through from either Fragapane, Unu, Reynoso, or even Nico Hansen, who has been on the cusp of scoring some absolute bangers. So yes, this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as they're playing it. I'm going to rest my voice. You guys have a good night, day, evening, wherever you are. Bear hams, and as always, toodaloo.